Silhouette Studio received an update in mid-2017 to version 4, which improved the software's look and workflow, followed shortly after with some feature enhancements in version 4.1. In this video, I'll give you a short tour of the new icons and features in version 4.1. You now have four primary navigation tabs in the upper right area of the menu. This first tab brings you to the design area, where you create and manipulate your designs. The next tab takes you to the Silhouette Design Store, where you can purchase designs and fonts, along with managing your Silhouette account. The Library tab takes you to the library where your purchased and imported designs are stored. The Send tab takes you to the Send panel, where you send cut jobs to your Silhouette machine. In the Design view along the top, you'll still find the Document Management and Zoom tools. If you have Business Edition, you'll find this new icon for Multiple Undo. We cover this feature in its own video, but the panel that opens lets you choose your point of undo or redo. These icons for Select All, Deselect All, and Select by Color are not new, but have just been moved from their previous location on the bottom of the screen with a slight change in the look of the icons. Underneath these document management choices, you'll find the Dynamic Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar is a new feature in version 4 that gives you easy access to common tools you may want to use, and it changes depending on what you are working with on your design page. There's Fill Color, Line Color, Line Thickness, Scale Options, Move, Align, Centering Choices, Grouping, Moving Forward or Back, Weld, Offset, Duplicate, and Delete. Using text brings up other options in the Quick Access Toolbar. Certain tools like Point Editing, Eraser, and Knife have their options show up in the Quick Access Toolbar when in use. Another change in version 4 is the placement of tabs for your open documents. You'll find them along the top, and you can click the plus icon to easily create a new document. Among the drawing tools on the left, this little note icon is new. This is for creating sticky notes that let you save notes for your project with the file. One of the big changes in version 4 was moving the icons along the top over to the right side of the page into panels. These can be opened as floating panels with tabs to find related functions. Most of these are not new, and you can find videos on our YouTube channel for all of these panels and features. Two new features you'll find in version 4.1 Designer Edition are Trace by Color and Magnet Trace. You'll find these as separate tabs within the Trace panel if you have Designer Edition or higher. The text panel icon may not look new, but it has new font management features where you can see frequently or recently used fonts, along with the ability to access categories of fonts that you organize into subfolders in your library. If you have Designer Edition or higher, a new feature you'll find is the ability to access glyphs in this tab of the Text Style panel. There's a separate tab for spell checking, too. Another new icon is here for the Pop-Up Creator. This feature lets you turn a selected design on your page into a pop-up card. Warp is another new feature in version 4.1 for users of Designer Edition and higher. This works on both shapes and text. If you have Designer Edition Plus or higher, there's a second tab here in the Warp panel for Conical Warp. This lets you set up dimensions of a 3D conical cylinder for your shape or text to wrap around, so the curve doesn't skew the design when applied. That's a quick tour of the new icons and features in Silhouette Studio version 4.1. For further explanation of each feature, check out our full YouTube playlist for Silhouette Studio version 4.1 how-to videos. Thanks for watching.